In this video, we will try to demonstrate the working of ICU ventilator and what are the components inside it and have a look of the display and the pneumatic section as well. The ventilator requires medical oxygen gas and medical compressed air which we both get from bed head panel and here is a moisture trap if there is any moisture in the air or if in case in the O2 we can flush it out. You just press it and moisture will get flush. So moisture foil flushing should be done uh, regularly if there is any moisture. Uh, then there is a medical air and oxygen both goes inside. This is the ventilator side both goes inside. This compressed gas this is O2. White O2 black air. Then we go to the ventilator. Now let's see the exhalation valve and the flow sensor. So the exhalation valve get attached to the flow sensor. This is the mechanism. So there is like LVDT, there is a mechanism, the diaphragm, the uh, get presses and then there is an LVDT which further sends the information, this is the flow sensor. And we open it, you can see the mechanisms. This is the diaphragm. This is the flow sensing mechanism. So air will push it inside outside and it will further press over here and the information then mechanical signal is converted to electrical signals. So you flow the flow sensor you can see there is a one mesh structure and inside there is a very fine thin wire. There are four pillar like structure then there is fine wire. This is the attachment, this is the nebulization, ultrasound nebulization setup. So this is in the form of aerosol, so drag is delivered very effectively through this type of nebulization. This is attached to the ventilator, this is the connection of ultrasound nebulizer. Now the patient circuit setup, so one we have to put in inspiratory port and one limb we have to put in expiratory port where the flow exhalation valve is there, flow sensor is there and now for the patient use we need to use one filter before this before connected to patient now for the testing we are using the test plug of the ventilator for check out so this was the patient circuit testing setup now let's uh, start the check out so for checking out the ventilator you need to scroll up to check out option then you have to press it and start check out there are instructions of the check out and then you press it so it will check all the parameters that is transducial check barometric pressure check reef wall check exhalation valve check flow sensor check and all these things will be checked one after the other so it takes a little bit of time but it is better to do it before applying to a patient. Now we can see the screen, total screen over here. So the checkout is in progress, the ventilator is self testing himself. Now what? Each test is getting, we should make sure that each test is passed. If even if one or the other test is uh, get failed, we should uh, contact the service person and take the necessary help. You can see the circular knob which is present over there. So you can scroll the ventilator screen with that. And there are buttons on the left and right side and the bottom of the ventilators for different function selection. You can see one after other things are in progress for checking. Currently the ventilator is in standby mode. You can see below are the buttons. This is the whole look of the screen while checkout is going on.
a little bit of patience will always help because it checks all the parameters now remove the occlusion occlusion from the patient by so we need to remove the tube from the test plug we need to remove this and then it will check the circuit we should always use a filter for the just checking out i am just showing it without filter now after everything is done we can go with the ventilation let's have a look at the modes of this ventilator now we are in vcv this is vcv setup this is pcv this is pcv vg this is simv pc then we have bi level and then we have the cpap we can set the settings according to our needs and we need to select that there is a leakage from the patient if it is leakage it is coming it shows from the patient then there is spontaneous efforts in ang strong there is one display unit and one pneumatic unit so let's see the display unit so here is the block diagram of display unit the lcd display key knobs and all this then we have communication channels for the communication so you can pause just pause it and you can uh, read further if you need so this is the display unit block diagram and this is ev chases the communication happens from there now let's see the practical view this is the display unit which is has been opened out so keypad driven cable then we have the this cables display cable encoder cable speaker cable that short one then again we have black light ribbon cable inverter board cable so all this is the display unit so the complete pcb now let's see the pneumatics pneumatic operation so this is inspiratory circuit circuitry the entry of compressed gas and all then there is expiratory circuitry you can see the circuitry inspiratory and expiratory so this is basically the block diagram from and to now this is the complete diagram from now here we are opening the chassis of the ventilator where contains the whole pneumatics and the assembly on pcbs here we can see all the circuits battery we will be starting from the inputs that is air and oxygen so air and oxygen are supplied to the ventilator so you can see there are primary inlets for both air and o2 and after there is there is inlet filter then there is a high pressure transducer both the, in the both air and o2 then there is check valve and then it goes to a regulator so it is from 25 psi so after that regulator it goes to a test port then there is a flow sensor so there is also a provision to check what is the pressure of air and o2 that is going into the ventilator so ventilator can give a idea what how much the pressure is in the air and o2 and if there is, it is low or it gets get high it will give alarm 
now from there there is a flow valve in both the air and o2 line then it goes to a pneumatic resistor that you can see pneumatic resistor both pneumatic resistors and then there is expiratory valve and for an expiratory pressure there is also o2 sensor inside which sense the amount of o2 and and there is also a regulation of o2 if we want to change the fio2 of the uh, ventilator if we want to deliver a higher o2 or uh, if we want to lesser uh, lesser that so with this sensing and the controlling we can change the values now let's go to patient circuitry section so this is the patient circuit so it is a y limb one is inspiratory and one is expiratory and there is one micro nebulizer pump micro pump nebulizer so the patient parameters and all the things that are sensed from exhalation exhalation unit so it is done but there is one exhalation valve and flow sensor that is attached so from the patient from the patient this violin will go to exhalation valve and there is one exhalation flow sensor and the air goes out so from this the flow sensing is done now let's come to inspiratory section so from here the air goes to the patient you can see the line this goes to the patient and from expiratory the air exhaled air it comes out so this was the block diagram